are the biggest mammals to grace our Earth. There are still thousands of them in Botswana savannah. Their extraordinary sensitivity and social bonds form the basis of their survival. But Africa's elephants are wandering into an unknown future. Wherever their paths cross with humans, different worlds collide with one another. But every so often, friendly encounters occur. Even today, we find the grey giants puzzling. What do we really know about them? And can we foresee a common future for elephants and humans? The Chobi in Botswana's north. The river on the border to Namibia is a true natural paradise, home to countless animals. The elephants especially have made the region famous. Since the dawn of time, they have traversed the country in huge herds. Botswana is more than double the size of Great Britain. But with just two million inhabitants, it is one of the most thinly populated countries in the world. Here, there are 130,000 elephants, especially in the north, on the major river systems of Okavango, Kwando, Linyanti, and Chobi. Africa, straight out of a picture book, like it used to be in many places on the continent. The Chobi is the attraction for elephants, life-giving water vein and meeting point. It is mainly females related to one another and their young that come here. Just after the rainy period, perfect conditions prevail. Water and food both are plentiful. An alpha cow leads the family. She is the eldest and most experienced animal. Like human beings, elephants entertain intimate contact between one another. During the first years, the smallest of them are the focal point of the herd. Safety with a capital S. The youngest are never alone. They always remain close to their relatives. Play is an important part of their social togetherness and shows, amongst other things, that the animals feel safe and that they feel good. As with human children, elephants also need the support of the family for years until they become independent at around 14. During youth, basics for their entire lives are made. Scientists have discovered that a distinct urge to play can have a positive effect on later leadership qualities. Popularity and conviviality are essential for togetherness in elephant society. Characteristics that are applied at an early age during play. The herd 
spends the greater part of the day wandering. They orientate themselves by implementing their fine sense of smell. They can also hear so-called acoustic fields. All places not only have their own specific scent, but also a typical sound that is unique and unmistakable. The little ones are already able to take note of smells and sounds and will not forget them for the rest of their lives. A masterstroke of the brain that helps them find places they have been before hundreds of kilometers away. Memories and experiences are of vital importance. It's the memory that makes an elephant an elephant. The social structures of the grey giants belong to the most complex in the animal kingdom. Gestures and sounds play a major role. The trunk, especially, is an important communications organ. In elephant circles, it is often employed in matters of social contact. When wanting to memorize the scent of another, a trunk has double as many olfactory receptors at its disposal than a sensitive dog nose. The young get to know one another in play and also learn how to understand the signals of others and how to implement them. Strong, flexible and efficient. The trunk is an elephant's all-purpose body part. Only elephant cows live in fixed herds. The bulls usually spend life as lone wolves. But there are places where the big bulls come together. Here they form loose alliances, male bonds. They meet for a communal bath on the Petiti River in northern Botswana. And for a drink. They are not alone. The giants are wary of hippos. Into the water? Or rather not. Ears erect and pugnacious trumpeting doesn't really impress the hippos. Don't mess with hippopotami, especially not when they have their young with them. The cumbersome herbivores are said to be Africa's most dangerous animals. More than a hundred people fall victim to their attacks annually. They always live nearby water, and after elephants, but together with white rhinos, they are our heaviest land mammals. A bull can bring up to 4,500 kilograms to the scales. Special skin glands secrete a red liquid that prevents the animals from dehydrating, protects them as a sun lotion, and works against pathogens. The bull gang are a pain in the nether regions for the hippos. Finally, one plucks up courage. His brash approach doesn't seem to have impressed the bath squatters very much. 
Perhaps a little angry splashing of water will do the trick. On the Butiti, contacts for life are made. Friendly gestures with the trunk seal the friendship. It's a waste of time looking for females on the Petiti. Boisterous raving creates closeness amongst the bachelors. For young elephants, the proximity of experienced bulls is especially important. The oldies not only convey knowledge, but also good behavior and respect for one another. The bulls remain in the male society until they get into mating mode. Only then, will they return to the females. The emotional attachment becomes especially clear when things get dramatic. A dying elephant writhes in agony in the waterside silt. It's a young bull. The weakened animal is unable to stand up. A wound on his front leg caused him to tumble and fall. Another bull approaches. Elephants are known for their sensitivity and close bonds to their relatives. Does he know the doomed animal? Whatever, the dying bull reacts to him. Carefully, the other one approaches. The fate of the injured bull appears to move him. Is it curiosity or genuine empathy? Cautious communication. Their trunks come together. They greet one another. Can he put himself in the position of his conspecific and feel with him? Is he trying to help him? The giant is full of tenderness, powerful, yet at the same time so sensitive. The closeness of the other bull appears to soothe him.
more animals arrive at the scene. We know that they regularly return to injured and dead fellow elephants. Perhaps they are related. He reacts yet again to the new arrivals. They too remain with the dying animal. They seem to know him and detect the scent of the injured elephant with their trunks. The herd can smell how he feels. Elephants are by far more sensitive and subtle than previously assumed. Even today, in similar situations, behavioral experts are unwilling to accept that humans and animals could share identical emotions. Yet still, they understand that animals suffer just as intensively as humans when close relatives die. Scenes like these provide us with an insight in the awareness of the grey giants. The similarities with us humans are apparent. The capability of compassion and support in an emergency situation. Elephants are more similar to us humans than some would like to believe. The herd moves on. An adult elephant can eat up to 300 kilograms of greens per day. Their top draw body part, the trunk, is extremely helpful when eating. There is nothing quite like it in the entire animal kingdom. Skillfully, they use it like a gripper hand with a thumb. It is highly sensitive, yet powerful at the same time. With their trunk, they can move logs that weigh half a ton or pick up tiny straws with its tweezer-like tip. Anatomically, the trunk is a conflation of upper lip and nostrils. Due to the absence of cartilage and bone, it can be brandished in almost all directions. More than a thousand muscles provide power, flexibility and precision. Countless nerve cells for dexterity. But the handling of this long thing, however, 
has to be arduously learned, and that takes quite some time. The trunk is also an important communication organ. Elephants know each other by smell. They can pick up the scent of comrades and relatives with it, as well as expressing gestures of friendship or appeasement. Elephants can't see very well, but they can smell all the better. The super nose delivers amazing results when searching for water and pastures. It enables maps to appear in their minds. One could almost say an elephant sees with his trunk. They can smell water from miles away. But it doesn't end there. The trunk also serves as a water scoop, but they can't drink through it. There is room for around 10 liters in the large water dispenser. initial months, the appendage on their heads is perfect against boredom. Does it come in different sizes? It's especially tragic when an elephant gets himself injured. A large part of this youngster's trunk has been torn off. It could be that the little one was caught in a poacher's trap. But as he has also lost his tail, he probably fell victim to a lion or hyena attack. has great difficulty drinking water. The wound seems older and the stump has healed well. Perhaps he has a chance of surviving with the support of his family. Elephants always enjoy wandering long distances their knowledge of the extremely old roots is handed down from generation to generation. The alpha cow safely leads the family through the brush. But the world is changing, and the world of the elephants too. Increasingly more people settle alongside their traditional paths. Smallholders set up their fields on barren soil. The people lead a modest life. Work is hard. The rewards meager. 
Maize, beans and pumpkins grow on the tiny strips of land. At the end of the day, the farmers reap the harvest. This fruit is at least safe. Others are also interested in the fields. The farmers are aware of this and keep watch at night. The people of the region are none too happy about elephants in the neighborhood. At harvest time, the giants attempt to grab all they can from the hard-working farmers. Some fields are completely destroyed overnight. When humans and elephants meet, conflicts are not far away. For the men, the situation is extremely dangerous. Fatal accidents are not uncommon. This particular night, the farmers are successful in the defense of their possessions. Of course, we have to ensure rigorous protection for the elephants, but we mustn't ignore the problems they cause the smallholders. Unlike these women, the peoples of Europe have left the wilderness behind them and live in safe houses. Most people only know dangerous animals from television shows, and many think that all animals are their friends. These women think differently. They fear lions behind the next bush. Even children on their way to school experience unpleasant encounters. Buffaloes belong to the most dangerous animals in Africa. Clashes with elephants also cause fear and panic. Accidents concerning the huge animals occur regularly. They know this. For Africa's giants, the habitat is growing continuously smaller. Worlds collide on a regular basis. Paths cross. On their search for water, the pachyderms often traverse the track tailbacks on the border from Botswana to Zambia. The trip to the trough mutates into running the gauntlet. The Kazani township in Botswana the Chobi flows into the Zambezi here. Kazani is located within the four country border of Botswana, Namibia, Zambia and Zimbabwe. The town is visited almost daily by elephants. They are magically attracted to the suburbs.
but they are unwelcome here too. The heavyweights destroy fences and walls and pillage gardens and farms. As if from nowhere, they often walk across the street. The danger of accidents is high, especially at night. Their goal this time is the Kazani Municipal Sewage Plant. Water is available there the entire year. The sewage plant is not the only elephant bar in the region. This animal here shows just how cunning and clever the grey giants are when searching for water. His cleverness and sensitive senses have brought him here. Necessity is the mother of invention, but it's not particularly selective. In Kazani and some other areas, elephants often get very close to humans, sometimes too close. The situation can often get out of control and even end fatally for both animals and humans. When elephants are surprised or scared and feel cornered, things can turn nasty. Wherever there is less room for nature and animals, conflict is not far. Are there solutions? Well, at least the elephants don't behave too badly in traffic. Exemplary how the alpha cow looks right, then left, before her herd crosses the road. Elephants from around Kazani are under observation. Scientist Robert Sutcliffe and his colleagues from Elephants Without Borders are searching for ways to defuse the conflict between humans and elephants. Today, an animal is to be fitted out with a satellite transmitter. Vet Larry Patterson has also been summoned. The shot from the tranquilizer gun hit home. It takes several minutes before the medium works. The men have to take care not to lose the animal in the bush. Okay, there he is. There, just behind, it goes behind the, behind the bush there. The anaesthetic works. The young bull falls to his knees. Soon he will be asleep. The scientists have about 15 minutes. stick keeps the respiratory tract free. Everyone works fast and highly concentrated.
the transmitter collar is quickly attached. While Larry organizes the recovery medium, Robert takes several data. After the jab, it takes around two minutes. Then the bull wakes up. The animal has withstood the procedure well. He's still a bit wobbly, but Larry is satisfied. The transparent elephant. As of today, the bull serves science and constantly transmits data as to his whereabouts. Robert tests whether close range works with the antenna. Nonetheless, the actual data will be sent directly to his computer via satellite. Robert Sutcliffe has been following the wandering routes of the elephants from his office in Kazani for years. The activity profile fits like pieces in a puzzle, piece by piece. When the animals rest and when they wander, where they go at which time of the year and which areas they prefer, important data collected thanks to the transmitter collars. Technology enables us to predict where conflicts appear. It allows biologists the possibility to search for solutions in conjunction with the public. One solution is the creation of elephant corridors. In the future, the herds are to be able to travel alongside the designated aisles undisturbed. The plan is to prevent conflict between man and animal, as well as granting the elephants more space. The grey giants are dependent on the benevolence of people, on what we concede to them. We give and take space from them. Truly free elephants have long been a thing of the past. It's looking bad for the icon of Africa. The numbers are shocking. Within just 10 years, stocks have decreased by roughly 30%. 350,000 live in Africa. Around 130,000 of those in Botswana, just over a third. To relieve densely populated regions and return the old wandering routes to the animals, Scientists, nature conservationists, and politicians are working on an ambitious project. In 2011, Botswana, Angola, Namibia, Zambia, and Zimbabwe resolved to merge existing game reserves and protection areas with one another. The goal, the foundation of one of the largest cross-national protection zones in the world. Kaza. 44 million hectares of land between the rivers Kavango and Zambezi. Nature conservation without borders? A vision? Some governments have since realized that elephants are an economic factor. Pachyderms attract tourists and fill the gaping coffers of the countries with money. Some camps, too, now count on elephants. Up close with the giants. No one forgets experiences like this in a hurry. Perhaps this is the first step towards peaceful coexistence, as long as the local inhabitants are involved.
In the Elephant Sands camp, the grey giants come to the artificial watering hole on a daily basis. Breathtaking moments. Some encounters, though, are by far more moving and intensive. Since 2015, a very special bull reaches out to humans. His name is Benny. He spends the entire year wandering through the bush. He only approaches the houses during the drought to collect his extra ration of water. On his first visit, Benny arrived at the camp with an injured foot and literally on his last legs. The manager and some of his workers approached the thirsty bull and offered him water and treated his wound together with a vet. Ever since, Benny appears during the dry season and enjoys being pampered. After he has spent 10 to 11 months wandering far away. An elephant never forgets. Even years later, the bull recognizes the people who once helped him. Very few are able to get as close to the wild elephant as Cabo Obanetsi. The enormous bull could easily kill Carbo with one stroke of his trunk. But Carbo knows that this will never happen. Both of them must have extreme trust in one another. Once again, we are able to experience the intelligence of the grey giants. The ability to sustain social relations over such lengths of time without daily contact requires complex brain performance. Can there really be such a thing as true friendship between man and wild animal? We so want to be able to believe it. In the Mfuve Lodge in Zambia's north, encounters between humans and elephants also regularly take place. Year after year, in November and December, the pachyderms pay a visit to the lodge garden. They come for the fruit of the wild mango tree that grows there. Fascinating for the guests. But there is a catch. To be able to enter the garden, the animals have to traverse the lodge building. The staff remains composed. The tree has been there far longer than the lodge that was built around it. For at least three generations now, the family arrives punctually during the ripening period of the mangoes. Thanks to their elephant memories. The cow examines the reception. Incredible, just how carefully she does so. Huh. 
hardly the proverbial bull in a china shop. The pachyderms are creatures of habit. This is what happens when buildings are constructed around something. For a few weeks of the year, the hotel garden belongs to the elephants. The staff, however, has to learn to get used to the proximity of the animals every year. The elephants take the obstacle course through the hotel lobby and across the staircase in their stride. Their attention is not only attracted by the fruit, the animals stick their trunks into anything that has not been bolted to the floor. They empty waste paper baskets, brush bottles from tables, or have a look around the souvenir shop. As funny as it all may seem, the elephants have lost their natural timidity. The tourists and the staff of the lodge should still keep their distance. For this season, though, the fun and games are over. Elephants are amazing creatures. In Botswana and the surrounding countries, one has noticed that their intelligence, their knowledge in relation to wandering roots, and their strong family ties are all rooted in the past. All of this has an effect on their lives in the Africa of today. We are only slowly beginning to understand just how complex elephants act and what really moves them. They are much more than their anatomical peculiarities, the tusks that remind one of a plow, the ears that they use to fan themselves with when hot, the trunk their most valuable tool in all situations. Their mighty stature with legs like columns. Scientists are only slowly beginning to disclose the many secrets of the grey giants. But will we ever fully understand how an elephant feels, or how he perceives his environment, how it is to be an elephant. One thing is certain, elephants are clever and sensitive animals that often differ little from us humans. Just how much space we grant them and what the future will bring for the gentle giants lies in our hands.